Chi-square can be calculated in SPSS or online. If you don't have access to SPSS, you can use the online website listed here. It is presented in the external link section of Blackboard. You must first determine the frequency for each of the cells. For example, if you're interested in whether gender and ethnicity are independent of each other or whether they're related, you'll need to calculate the frequency of male and female participants for each of the ethnic groups separately. In the online table, CUND refers to condition and GP refers to group. It doesn't matter which variable is which. The important thing is to be consistent. In this case, we can make GP gender and CUND ethnicity. Thus, GP1, CUND1 would be white males. Let's say there are 10 of those. GP2, CUND1 would be white females. Let's say there are 10 of those. GP1, CUND2 might be African American males. Let's say there are five of those. And GP2, CUND would be African American females. Let's say there are 20 of those. Once you have entered all of the frequencies, click Calculate. You are interested in the chi-square value, the degrees of freedom, and the p-value. Remember that the p-value must be equal to or less than 0.05 for the chi-square value to be significant. If the p-value is greater than 0.05, we would not consider there to be a relationship between the two variables. One important thing to remember is that none of the frequencies for the cells should be zero, and it's better if no more than 20% of the cells has a frequency of less than 5. Violation of these standards will result in a less reliable outcome. In this case, chi-square equals 4.5, one degree of freedom, and p equals 0 0.03, which is less than 0 0.05. In this case, gender and ethnicity are not independent of each other. They are related. Now let's look at SPSS. To calculate chi-square in SPSS, begin with a blank SPSS database. You can copy and paste information from an Excel worksheet directly into SPSS, but you have to label the variables. To do so, click on the tab at the bottom of the database labeled Variable View. In this view, each row stands for a variable. Type in the name of the variable in the Name column. For example, nominal variables, such as gender and ethnicity, don't have a true number. Therefore, in the values column, you will need to indicate what number means what category. For instance, 1 represents males, whereas 2 means females. Click OK. And now the variable is set up. You can also label the variable if you like. Now that the variables are set up, click the Data View tab to return to the database. You can cut and paste data from the Excel worksheet directly into SPSS, and then you are ready to analyze the data. Let's look at a completed database. To calculate chi-square, select the Analyze drop-down menu from the top toolbar and click the Descriptive Statistics, then Crosstabs option. The variables of interest will be entered separately into the row and column boxes. Choose one nominal variable, such as gender, and then click the arrow button next to the row box. Then choose another nominal variable, such as ethnicity. Click the arrow next to the column box. Next, click Statistics and select Chi-Square, then Continue. Click OK, and an output file will open with the results. The first box indicates that all cases were included in the analyses because there were no missing data. The second box provides the cross-tabulation table indicating the frequencies for each category. For example, there were six African-American females, five Hispanic females, six Caucasian females, etc. You can use these numbers to calculate percentages if you'd like. The final box provides the chi-square analyses. The Pearson chi-square value is the one you should look at. 
the degrees of freedom are listed as DF. Finally, ASYMP SIG two-sided is the p-value. As you can see, this chi-square value of 4.12 rounded up with 3 degrees of freedom is not significant as p equals 0.25, which is greater than 0.05. Therefore, gender is distributed equally across the diff different levels of ethnicity, which means that there are roughly equal numbers of males and females in each ethnic group. Even though the numbers are not truly equal, the discrepancies are not greater than what we would expect by chance. This concludes the tutorial.